Devils could pull this upset and finish perhaps in the top 15 in the country. Set to go from Atlanta, and we're underway in the Chick fil A Bowl. Texas AM receiving it. Trey Williams. Williams gets up across the 25 yard line. Did throw a few more interceptions this year, but still big time offensive force. And he finds Evans with his first pass of the night, and big Mike Evans gets it to midfield. One thing Texas AM is always able to do is start fast. Opening possession, Aggies have it at the 35. A little shuffle pass. That is Quiv Gonzalez. Quiviante, Quiv for short. A good pickup on first down. He'll move the chains. His offense is Knowles and Jim Collins on defense for Duke. Texas a and is going to try a 55-yard field goal with the former pro soccer player Josh Lambeau. He lights into it. Lambeau has the distance, but not the accuracy. And the Aggies come up empty. And this is cute. So the Blue Devils have it for the first time at their own 37. Anthony Boone is the quarterback. They'll try a little trickery first. Boone firing deep. He's got a man out there. It's Jamison Crowder. And Crowder can't hold on to it, being covered by Devontae Harris. But have a look at Crowder's jersey and tell me somebody didn't grab him along the way. That just came out by itself, Reese. <laughs> Play right there. His building effort at Duke. Boone. Quarterback one game. Boone's going to have the first down and get it into Aggie territory. And a big six foot, 230 pound junior from Weddington, North Carolina, picks up 16 on the run. Duke needs to get it to the 22 of Texas AM. Crowder's open. He's inside the 20. Jamison Crowder down close to the 10. It'll be first and 10 for the Blue Devils. And there's a tremendous example of what head coach David Cutcliffe calls anticipatory throws. Getting the football out early, throwing into a window before his wide receiver Crowder's even turned around to see where the ball is. That's just beautiful execution in the passing game. Great job looking to his left, coming back to his right. And listen, if AM wants to continue to play a man. Boone Heat coming, gets rid of it. Sneed has it. A pathway to the end zone. Touchdown, Duke! <laughs> Anthony Boone was responsible for the man coming at him and he got rid of it beautifully to Snead. Talk about how he knows where his answers are. There's a free rusher coming off the edge, but that was designed. They Duke fans have traveled very well going to consecutive bowl games. First time, Manziel running it. Johnny appears to be much healthier than he was in the latter stages of the season. The good quickness and speed picking up eight and a half, maybe nine. He is, but I don't want his shoulders getting hit if I'm a coach. Manziel, Walker right on the money into Duke territory and inside the 40. And I think this is one of the things you're going to start to see with this offense. More play action, more pistol, more motions, more creativity, a little bit of play action. Freeze the linebacker and you see it gives your receiver time to get behind him and make a big play. You need to do that. as 45, get the Aggies on the board. Lambeau, powerful leg. Wow. And it splits the uprights. Texas A&M moves the ball well for the second time. Duke rises up in its own end at 7-3 late in the first. Anthony Boone got a man on a wheel route running free as Braxton D with the tight end and the Blue Devils are on the move. So with youth. Howard Matthews that lost his man on that play. On first down, Boone taking a shot. Got a man out there again. It's on the money. It's Deaver again, and he falls down short of the end zone, but it'll be first and goal for Duke. And they go right back after safety Howard Matthews with another pump fake, getting the football over his head. Johnny Manziel can't believe it. This has really been the M.O. all season long. You see Howard Matthews here at safety, number 31. Just watch here as they fake this wide receiver screen Bite. outside. He bites. That allows the tight end just get right behind him. Connect, big powerful, finding his way. Let's make it 14 touchdowns. Blue Devils go up 13-3. Their 
They're both very emotional players, but as leaders, they got and to show. The punt is blocked by the Blue Devils. They wait on it to fall from the Georgia Dome sky, and Duke couldn't corral it, or they might have scored a touchdown, but Duke is in business. Josh Sneed, the running back, getting the block, and the Blue Devils have a huge opportunity. Special teams has been a strong point for Duke all season long. You're going to see here just untouched. Coming off the edge is Sneed. Tell you what, Texas A&M, they're very lucky that didn't bounce more fortuitously for Duke. An opportunity to scoop and score. 19, already up 14-3 as we start the second quarter. Keep it on the ground, Jawan Thompson. And right now, Duke is having its way with A&M. And what a first quarter to build a commanding lead. Boone on the keeper. Anthony Boone inside the five, stretching for the goal line. Manziel to Malcolm Kennedy. Kennedy racing into Duke territory. He stepped out of bounds. Official comes up and marks him out of bounds at the 49-yard line. And Mike Evans has made some bonehead plays. He did a great job blocking down the field for his guy, but he clearly stepped out before he tried to cut that up. Now Cockrell bails out. Manziel looking toward Evans. Got him. Evans inside the 25 before Cockrell knocks him down. First down for the Aggies. It's dangerous, I think. Now from the 23. Manziel. Got a man. Touchdown AM. It's Travis Labhart. going to see Labhart working in the slot just on a corner route against a freshman. We talked about the inexperience in this secondary for Duke. Devon Edwards, he just gets completely spun around. And again, easy pitch and catch. And there's the answer by Texas A&M. Duke's still got their foot on the accelerator with a couple passes. They're getting what they want on the outside. Keep taking advantage of it. Boom, taking a shot. Crowder's out there. Crowder's got it. and Howard Matthews gets smoked by Crowder. Foot fully on accelerator. Take advantage of your guys on the outside. But I like, good job putting him in the slot. And he just runs right by Howard Matthews, the safety. And Boone again, dropping a dime in there. I mean, he's been playing great all game so far. Hits him in stride. And 10. Manziel right on the money to Darrell Walker. Another first down for the Aggies. Seeing Duke being a lot more aggressive now, blitzing Johnny Manziel. Trying to go toe for toe. Trey Carson. Carson hit in the backfield as Duke controls the line of scrimmage. Kelby Brown. I think the play was messed up a little bit from the beginning. Just the shotgun snap was a little bit high for Johnny, a little bit off to the left. But look at Kelby. Kelby Brown comes flying in there right up. It's so deep. See that shotgun snap? He's six, seven yards deep. That's the saying and deciding to go for it here on fourth down. Big reason why. Their defense can't stop, it, dude. Exactly. Fourth and four. Evans down here is pretty legit. Manziel to Labhart. Touchdown, Aggies. How about the former women's basketball team practice player Travis Labhart with two touchdowns in the Chick-fil-A Bowl tonight. Take a look at the accuracy on this throw. Why Johnny Manziel throws his wide receiver open. You're going to get a wheel route by a slot receiver Labhart. And he puts this on the back shoulder away from true freshman DeAndre Singleton. Boone has it. Give it to the running back. Pick it up easily and still on his feet. Jawan Thompson. He not only got the first down, he got inside field goal range for the Blue Devils. Juwan Thompson, their biggest, most physical running back at 5'11", 225, showing you the balance and the nifty feet right here. Just barely gets tripped up. 
Texas A&M lucky he couldn't do done have a better job with his balance. He might have scored, but Denzel on the other side, but the mountain would be extraordinarily high. Sneed inside the 20. Sneed inside the 10. Sneed five possessions, five touchdowns. The Blue Devils are rolling in again. This is just a simple zone play, guys. Look at all the movement this offensive line gets working to the right-hand side, just pushing Maroon Helmets back. Look at that cutback. It's great vision. You got a block down field by Crowder, and then just great open field running. Look there at Crowder not he, quit. He just, I mean, he depleted the Shazer Everett. A&M's been dreadful, and they haven't been nearly as tough as Duke. Duke goes for the onside kick. They let it bounce. They got a great shot to recover it. I think they did. You want to talk about rolling the dice. Was that Jawan Thompson? Jawan Thompson was the one who had a great shot at it. Let's see if he comes out of the bottom of the pile with it. Blue Devils have it. I love the play calling by Duke. We've talked about how this has been such a big part of their team's success all season long. Look at the blocks downfield by 29, allowing Juwan Thompson to jump on that football. And guys, Juwan Thompson, a huge special teams contributor. Not only does he lead the team in special teams tackles with 10, but just Johnny on the spot. They've blocked a punt. They've recovered an onside kick. They have outplayed, outcoached, outhit, outhustled Texas A&M in every aspect of the game in the first half. Game clock. There's number three. Boone fired. Blakeney has it inside the five, down at the two. First and goal. 23 seconds to go. Duke still has a timeout. And Boone's eyes continue to be in the perfect spot. Field goal attempt. Martin knocks it through as the first half expires. A first half that was nearly perfect for the Blue Devils. Cutcliffe still a little frustrated that he didn't get the touchdown on that previous play. The Blue Devils are going to get the ball to stop start the second half. Texas A&M hasn't stopped them all night. Kevin Sumlin's with Samantha Ponder. Coach, you've had so many fast starts. In your mind, what explains the slow start tonight? Well, you know, we moved the ball early and had penalties to take us out of the red zone. The other three times we scored went right down the field. Uh, we haven't stopped them once. We, we got to force something defensively to get them off the field. We, it, you know, we, we, we're just behind. We can't get enough points now. We got to get off the field on defense. You've obviously had some struggles defensively this year. What can you tell your guys in there after being so dejected on this sideline to make a difference in the second half? Well, we got to tackle. We got to have better eye discipline. It's the same deal. So, you know, they're, they're forcing us to make one-on-one -on -one tackles, make plays, and we haven't been able to do it. Uh, if, if we got guys out there who can't do it, we got to replace them. Appreciate your time, Coach. Right, thanks. thanks. Someone understandably frustrated as Duke puts 38 points and 365 yards up. They're up 38 17. Now let's go to the studio. Back to Sneed. First down, Blue Devils. Sneed into the open field. Sneed running into Aggie territory inside the 45, and Duke's on the move again. Same old, same old. Pushing around, Texas a and up front, doing a good job. Offensive line just continues. Look at them. You see the left guard pull around Harding, do a great job blocking the defensive end. And there's just, you can drive a Mack truck through these alleys. I mean, these holes are wide open. Bends out. Or B button if you prefer the Xbox. <laughs> Malcolm Kennedy. An alley. Kennedy spins inside the Duke 45. He has another Aggie first down, and because of the trouble that the Aggie defense on line crutches, he's their starting nose man. Manziel gets away from two. Johnny on his feet. Here goes Johnny football inside the 25. First down for the Aggies. He's got such a good sense of how to skinny up to defenders, and he runs, watch him run right at the defender a little bit, skinny him up, and then then extend out and give himself some space to create and just he's like a, he's a magician in the open field trying to bring him down it's it's on second and seven Mandel leaps over a guy still on his feet Mandel Labhart touch 
Down, Aggies! He's magic! Are you kidding me? Okay, this is unbelievable <laughs> on a couple of different <laughs> ways here. Watch the fake screen. They're trying to get the outside receiver, Darrell Walker, deep down the field. You're going to see he just kind of stutters. He's open right now for a touchdown. Manziel missed that. Somehow doesn't go down, keeps the play alive, and actually finds the... And now Duke trying to regain some momentum. They keep it on the ground and busting into the open field is Juwan Thompson in Aggie territory. And Thompson's inside the 35. And just like that, as they have all night, the Blue Devils answer. And again, one is Ross Martin. Going to try from 48 yards out. A low line drive kick that goes wide left. And the second stop of the second half for Kevin Sumlin's defense. And now... The Aggie offense comes back onto the field, a chance to make it a one possession game. Manziel throwing. There's clear again. The big fella's still on his feet. Cockrell trying to rip the ball away, but he cannot. And the Aggies are down close to the 20 yard line. David, you mentioned earlier you love Johnny Manziel's quick release. I love the awkward body throws. Take a look at how his body's contoured here. Throws it on the run to Tower the right. Out. Yeah, to the left. He can contort his body, tremendous control, and again, at the next level, you've got to be able to do knack. You can't coach it. Carson has the corner. Trey Carson inside the 10. Carson into the end zone, and here come the Aggies. Everything's going right. The running game getting going now. Everybody's third down play for the Blue Devils. Anthony Boone firing, and he's got his tight end. That's Braxton Deaver. And Deaver's had a couple of big catches tonight, and that one was rather large to keep the Blue Devil drive going. Love this play call by Kurt Roper. They're going to have Deaver here in the background. He's kind of just hiding as a fullback, just kind of stalking his way out, allowing the play action to affect the linebackers for Texas A&M to suck up. Nice catch and an explosive. Boom. Fires. It bounced up. Did he make the catch? Yes, he did. John L. Barnes. Acrobatic grab by the freshman from Lehigh Acres, Florida. Reese, I don't think this throw was to Barnes. I think he meant to hit Isaac Blakeney, mm -hmm. number 17. I don't think it hit the, the ground slot. either. It didn't. It and looked like he had his hands on it. Look, I mean, Blakeney goes up. He's 6'6". Six, six. I mean, it's hard to overthrow him for a &M on D. Martin, the short field goal attempt, 20 yards out, puts it through. And so Duke puts up the score. Means Manziel needs it twice at least to catch him with 43 seconds to go here in the third quarter in what has been a... And here it comes. Manziel turns it loose. Evans! With Cockrell all over him, Mike Evans makes a play. I think you get sick and tired of sitting back and letting Johnny Manziel dink and dunk, letting them run the football. They get aggressive, play man coverage. This guy's been a monster all year. You, you single him up on the outside, he's going to win the jump balls. Nice back shoulder by Johnny. High snap, Molina. Molina exploding inside the 10, inside the 5, first and goal a and you're starting to see Texas A&M's offensive line take this game over now. They've had so much more. Manziel, they'll never catch him. Johnny Manziel, touchdown Texas A&M. And over the barricade. And Johnny's first one back to celebrate. And this is just... Johnny Manziel with pure speed. He's got a safety, Jeremy Cash, in the box. He's even with him, but Johnny's leaving him. Cash, the transfer from Ohio State. Oh, oh. oh. Well, let's hope the photographer photographer's the okay. Lined up one-on-one -on -one right now. Bottom of your screen. With Devontae Harris. And now Boone's going to have to try to get a lot. He's got his man right down the middle. First down, Blue Devils. It's Jawan Thompson out of the backfield. Juwan Thompson was working one-on-one -on -one with linebacker Tommy Sanders. And Tommy Sanders just falls down. You're going to see him right here, number three, right in here. He just 
just slips, and that allows the running back to get in from behind him again with their backs against the... He date. Boone deflected but completed, and again, it's Deaver making a clutch catch at the 21-yard line, first down Blue Devils. This has been a clinic on third. ...to bite. They got to use their eyes and make sure they're not biting the chump because he does such a good job with his eyes. Boone, complete. Running toward the end zone and getting close is David Reeves. Did he get in? He did! Touchdown, Duke! David Reeves with just his third catch of the season. He's not often used. They kind of lined him up as a flex tight end there. And just a bad tackle here by Devontae Harris. So oh, he stays stay up. In. the heel doesn't come all the way down. But does he keep staying in, though, is the question. Green, green, green. touchdown. Wow. Masterful drive. That is how you draw. Huge return to Dangerous Williams. 86 points tonight. Chick-fil-A bowl record. Manziel. Malcolm Kennedy makes the grab in Duke territory. Gets out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. Johnny Manziel again showing you his ability to work through progressions. You see here getting a little chippy. And spending the outcome of this drive. Duke bringing pressure. Manziel firing deep. Walker's out there. Darrell Walker running under it. He's got it. Touchdown, Texas a and Well, you think you need two scores, so you're in trouble. Time running out. Minute and two seconds. Minute two seconds, no problem. But look at the air Johnny Manziel puts underneath this football. He sees man-to-man -man coverage, but look at high and deep. Don't worry about his arm strength. Dude, that's dropping in the bucket, too. I mean, I could have caught that. And I'm not needing... Duke outscoring its opponents in the fourth, a testament to their toughness. Boom. Firing. Picked up. Tony Hurd going the other way. One man to beat, and he does! Texas A&M has the lead! Tony Hurd Jr. His first pick of the season, and Mark Snyder's defense gets a pick six, and the Aggies have the lead for the first time tonight. Tony Hurd Jr., the guy who decides to step up and make that play for this defense. Aggie showing pressure. Boone underneath, complete, first down, Duke. Heat coming. Boone tries to avoid it, he throws it away, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Nate Askew. The former receiver turned linebacker makes the biggest grab of his career. Everett, who just knocked away the pass from Crowder, was the man applying the heat to Boone, and Boone, who played so brilliantly, throws a late interception. That time, Anthony Boone did not see the pressure. Here comes DeShazer Everett, who just broke up that last pass to Crowder on a corner blitz off the edge. Boone was late. He didn't have an answer early trying to throw it away. He tried to get rid of it late to his running back, Shaquille Powell. For a pick, Johnny Manziel understands. It looks like he's almost a pick down in tears right there. But what an emotional game this has been. It's Capital One player of the game, and I imagine that you have a very good guess as to who that might be. Johnny Manziel, and what it is widely assumed will be his final game, though not official yet, at Texas A&M. Brings the Aggies from 21 down. Couple of big plays by the defense as AM wins the shootout 52 to 48. That'll be official in about 20 seconds. And we would be remiss if we didn't bring up this.